Hey there, welcome to Power GI. It's Graciela on the side of the screen. In today's video, we'll be showing how to get notified every time a new comment is added on a task in Planner. But as of April 2021, there is not a trigger for new comments. So we are going to work around this by using the Ofix 365 Groups Mail Connector in Power Automate. So let's get started. First, let's take a look at what happens when we add a comment in a task. I have a sample plan here with a couple of tasks already added, so I'm going to open one of those and add a comment. Once the comment has been sent, here I have my inbox and my other regular folders. However, I also have a section for my group mail. If we open the group that the plan is part of, you're going to see that we get a notification through here that there's a new comment. And pretty much this is the email that we're going to use to retrieve the content and to know which task this comment refers to. So let's open Power Automate and then go to the connectors section. And in the search bar, let's just type group. And we need to select the Office 365 groups mail. There are actually two predefined templates that we can leverage to make the work easier. For this example, we are going to select the post a Teams message when a new email arrives to a group mailbox. And most part of our configuration is already set up by the template. And what we need to do is to just select the group that the plan that we want to get notifications on is part of. And then I'm going to delete this last action and I'm just going to search for the Microsoft Teams action cards. And here I am going to select post a message as the flow bot to a user. So I'm going to select myself from the list. And then in the message, I am just going to select the body of the email, which actually contains the comment and some other information. Let's just hit save and then test. Let's go back to our plan and add another comment. And now the flow is running. And as you can see, I get some HTML code in the notification from the bot. As you can see here at the beginning, we have the comment that I sent. We also have a URL that includes the task ID. So I'm just going to copy this and then open a notepad. And the first part that we need is what is between these first two lines and then what is in the table tag. That's, that is for retrieving the actual comment. And to retrieve the task ID, we are going to need what is between this URL and this type equal comment parameter in the query. We are going to be using the split function to get the, track, the text between two delimiters. I have already here part of the, of the formula grid that we are going to transfer it to the actual flow. So let's go back and edit what we were working on. Now that we are back in the flow again, Let's uh, place a cursor in the message field of the Teams card and we are going to copy the content of the, the function or, or formula there and paste it in our notepad. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to replace these two single quotes after the two splits and paste the, um, the body content output there. We are going to leave this function in the description of the video so you can have it. Pretty much what we are doing is getting the text between this delimiter and this other delimiter. And since we know this text is always going to exist in the content of the email that is received in the group, we are safe to use it to get the comment. So I'm going to copy this and then remove the old body content here and add a, an expression. In the expression, I'm going to hit OK and then save. The only thing that we are missing is how to get the task ID to be able to get some information about the task. That could be the assignees, the task title, task description, or any other thing that you may need to include in your notification to the user. Now we know that the task ID will always be included in this URL. So we can take everything that is before the task ID and put it as the first delimiter of our function. And then the second delimiter will be this question mark type equal comment. So we're going to paste it in the formula and then we are going to copy this and add an action to get a task. 
here it's going to ask us to write what is the task ID. So I'm just going to select enter a custom value and then I'll go to the expression and paste what I just copied and then hit OK. And then we are going to add some customization to the message and here instead of sending the notification to a fixed person we can change it for example to be sent to the person that created the task. We can also send it to the iSignee but that will depend on your specific needs. So let's just add a final comment to make sure it will work. And as you can see, now I received a notification immediately right after the comment was added telling me on which task this was sent and what is the actual comment. And this is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you soon. Bye bye.